Hello and welcome to another video in the series of videos which we're providing to document how to use Waypoint. Um, my name is Mike and today I'll be showing you a couple things about how you can view the website traffic that your site is getting in Waypoint. Um, every Waypoint site we provide includes this feature so no matter what site you have or any package level um, it comes standard. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is log into your website. Um, Depending on your site, it might be a different page. Uh, you should have that documented uh, when you set up your site. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Now that I'm logged in, I have full access to my menu bar. Depending on your role, you uh, may not see the entire bar. It depends, again, on your role. Um, in my case, uh, or if you have a full website administrator, you'll see everything I see here. Um, the entire uh, collection of site statistics is listed under tools and website traffic. When we pull this page up initially we're going to get a listing of traffic from the past week. This is uh, our website traffic so this is total page hits for uh, the past week it runs from about 120 clicks per day up to about peak of 200. Um, depending on your site and how much you might spend on Google AdWords and other marketing techniques, uh, it's maybe higher or lower. This is pretty much uh, just average. Um, what you can do now is use this section up here to select different uh, reporting options. Um, on the right, we have date ranges. The default, as it started with, was the past week, but we can switch that to the past month and click Generate Report. And what this is going to do is pull up data from the past month, scroll down a little bit, and you can see as the time stretches back how things have progressed. Um, also on the left now, we have different reporting options. Here we, uh, the default is hit by page and all site pages. So this is total clicks per page. Um, so if someone's clicking around the site, every time they hit a new page, that adds another to the total. If we go to unique visitors, if one person clicks around the site, they only count for one per day. So this is individual people who visited your site per day. So if I do unique visitors and generate report, we'll see a lower number. Scroll down here. We're averaging a little between around 30 to 40 unique people per day hitting the site. Um, so with about uh, 30 people per day at around 100 hits, it's an average of maybe around three or four clicks per person. Um, this is probably because a number of people hit the site and then leave, and um, you know some people stay much longer. So it's really an average. The next uh, report available is referrers. So I'll click referrers and hit generate report for referrers for the past month. What referrers is is it's going to show us where people are coming from to get to our website. So you have a pie chart here that's going to show you the major ones, the ones that have the highest chart or the highest uh, total. Um, in this case, we have uh, 59 people from Live.com, it's a Microsoft search engine, 47 people from Google, TwinArbors.com is a separate site that we run, and um, some people came over from that, redirected from a different spelling of our domain name. Cario.com, we offer Cario email hosting, and we're getting some clicks from their site as well. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see a full list, and all the way down here, there's a lot of, a lot of times you'll see some weird domain names, things that are forwarding to your site, that's just common with internet traffic. Um, the next report, client browsers. This may not be as important to you unless you're really into, you know, gearing your design for specific browsers, but you'll see what browsers people are using when they hit your site. Um, as you see, uh, Internet Explorer and Firefox in the past month are tied on our website anyway, um, at 19%. And, um, was actually, all these are tied. Mozilla is 19, Firefox is 19, IE is 19, Safari is 14. Um, so that just gives you a demographic, basically, of what browsers people are using. Um, the other thing you can do, again, uh, with the date ranges now, let me jump back to that, you can go past year, but also you can do specific date ranges, which means this is a date picker, and I can say, okay, I want to go back through the summer. So I'm going to go from June 1st, and you can click today. So from June 1st to today and any one of these reports. So I want to see referrers from June 1st to today, generate report, and it comes back with all the information I had right here. 
and you'll see the totals here are higher. These are total clicks, by the way. Um, the next item up is uh, hits per page. What you can do is hit this drop down, and it's going to show you all the different uh, pages in your entire website. We have a lot here because there's a lot of documentation about Waypoint on here. Um, your site might not have so many, but what you can do is, let's say I wanted to see how many people were looking at our news page. I can click news, generate report. Again, the data is still through the summer. It remembers your selection, and we're averaging just a couple per day. If you do see this spike, that's a mathematical error. It's not that that many people hit it at the last second. Um, sometimes that just happens with reporting. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell.